So all this loose hair here, but leave as much height to the foot as possible. Separating the toes, combing the hair up over and over again. Making sure I'm not getting his tongue in my scissors. And the reason I don't use regular shears all the time to do this is you're going to leave chop marks and you end up going to take too much off. So I might just use my regular shears just to neaten the foot, any hairs that I see sticking out. But if you look at the breed standard for any of this, everything's all about natural, natural, natural. So I like to use thinners to really make that nice natural look. The idea is you do not want to see separate individual toes. You don't want to see little digits and it shouldn't look like a shaved poodle foot. You need the fill in there. Now with that being said, you still can pull the hair down. And like I did before, get that stuff that hangs out. Make sure you don't get his droopy face tongue in there. <clears throat> and Once again, I'm going to push it back up. Anything that might come out from in between. I see a little bit of messy hairs here. But leaving as much height as possible. So even if I'm looking at it kind of from the side here, you can see how nice and round that is. <clears throat> 